how to use trading view layouts effectively that's what we are going to discuss today in the market secrets trading view trick series before we get started with today's session i'd like to mention that we at market secrets had recently launched algo traders program atp if you are someone who is interested in learning algo trading then you can consider joining atp program i'll leave the link to it in the description section of this video and with that note let's get started with today's session on chart layout in trading view so uh, this is a blank chart uh, that we have in trading view now i'm clicking on the indicators and i'm selecting you know moving average so uh, maybe i'm adding three moving averages three is the maximum we can uh, add right i mean the indicators so one i'm giving it as 50 and other i'm giving it as uh, 200 and uh, for the colors right so i'm giving a uh, red color to one and, and for thickness i'm giving the thickest value and likewise right for the 50 ma right i'm giving uh, green color i'm giving the second level of thickness and uh, for the first ma right i'm changing it to 20 and i'm leaving it as blue and i'm giving uh, you know the thickness as uh, the second level of thickness okay so now um, you know i've created uh, three uh, uh, indicators here these are simple indicators some people will use complex indicators some people will use uh, you know their own indicators that uh, you know we even thought about you know how to combine these three indicators into one and add you know two more indicators on top of this right so you can have five six even ten indicators in trading view uh, but once you have all your indicators in one place uh, this becomes your template right i mean if uh, this is something that you regularly use for your trading right this becomes your default template so it's always good to create a layout and save this okay so once you add all the indicators that you gently uh, use right you can click on this drop down and maybe you can uh, you know um, save this layout okay so once this is done you can load this uh, layout whenever uh, you know you want to use the same set of indicators if you have paid version you can create multiple combination of this layout but um, you know since we are using a free version you can use a maximum of just one layout but i generally use a constant setting so i don't have to you know play around this much so i am good with uh, you know just one layout but if you're someone who is using multiple layouts then uh, you know you can use the most frequently used one or the ones that uh, you really need to you know view in trading view only for that setup you can create your own layouts so with that we have come to end of today's episode if you have any queries of this uh, let me know in the comment section also hit the like share and subscribe buttons if you find this video useful thank you